The complications that can result from untreated chlamydia can affect everything from your fertility to chronic tummy pain. And in this video, we're going to explore the complications that can affect men, women, and even your unborn baby. As ever, each section of the video is timestamped, and if you do learn something new, I'd be grateful if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off the video by covering complications of untreated chlamydia for women and people who are assigned female at birth. And the first complication is something called pelvic inflammatory disease, also known as PID for short. PID is a serious condition that can occur when an untreated STI, such as chlamydia, damages your reproductive organs, and it can lead to infertility and long-term pelvic pain. It can also block the tubes and may lead to an ectopic pregnancy. This is where a fertilised egg implants outside of the womb, which can be life-threatening for both the foetus and potentially deadly for the mother too. Now the symptoms of PID include things such as pelvic pain or pain around the pelvis and lower tummy, discomfort or pain during sex that's felt deep inside the pelvis, that's known as dyspareunia, pain when peeing, known as dysuria, bleeding between periods and after sex, heavy periods, painful periods, or unusual vaginal discharge that isn't normal for you. Now this could be yellow, green, smelly, or even blood stained. Now there's no simple test to diagnose PID and doctors will often need to take a history and do an examination and take swabs. But if it's detected early, then treatment with antibiotics can be very effective. Chlamydia can also cause complications if you're pregnant, including preterm delivery. Also, if you are pregnant and you do have chlamydia, you can pass the infection on to your newborn. Babies that are born with chlamydia might have an increased risk of pneumonia or an infection of their eye called conjunctivitis, which could lead to blindness if it's not treated. If you are pregnant, you should receive testing for chlamydia at your first prenatal appointment. Now, the third important complication to be aware of is infertility. An untreated infection can cause permanent scarring and damage to your fallopian tubes, uterus or vagina, making it hard to become pregnant. Another rarer complication of untreated chlamydia is something called Fitzhugh-Curtis syndrome. Now this is a type of perihepatitis that causes liver infection and inflammation and it can result in long-standing right upper tummy pain amongst other things. Now during the chronic phase, adhesions form between the anterior liver capsule and the anterior abdominal wall or the diaphragm and they're classically described as violin string adhesions and you can see those in this photo here. Now complications of chlamydia for men and people who are assigned male at birth are rarer, but the two main ones to be aware of are epididymitis and reduced fertility. So first of all, let's talk about epididymitis. Now this is where a tube, which is known as the epididymis, at the back of the testicles becomes swollen and painful. Symptoms can include sudden or gradual pain in one or both of your testicles. The bag of skin containing your testicles, which is called the scrotum, could feel tender, warm and swollen and you could have a buildup of fluid around your testicle. This is known as a hydrocele and it feels like a lump or a swelling. Now you may have other symptoms depending on the cause, such as difficulty peeing or a white, yellow or green discharge from the tip of the penis, but epididymitis can usually be treated using antibiotics if it's picked up early. Finally, like women, men who've got untreated chlamydia can have reduced fertility. Chlamydia can harm the sperm negatively, impacting on the ability to conceive. Untreated chlamydia can also spread to the bloodstream, which increases the risk of getting reactive arthritis, which causes your joints to swell and feel painful. Now remember, chlamydia can be treated early with antibiotics if it's detected. Here in the UK, if you've got any symptoms of chlamydia, you should visit your local sexual health clinic as soon as possible, and to help you find one of these, the NHS have got an easy to use section on their website, and I've included a link to this in the description box of the video. If you live in the USA, then please do check out the CDC-backed Get Tested website, which helps you find free, fast and confidential testing near you. And again, I've included a link to this in the description section of this video. Now, if you live in places other than the UK and the US, I would strongly encourage you to see your nearest health provider at the earliest opportunity if you suspect you may have chlamydia or symptoms of chlamydia. Now that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found it useful, informative, and if you did, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for new weekly medical education videos which I produce twice a week. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.